Hello, it's Tuesdays with Tammy, and welcome to my room and also my YouTube channel. If anybody is going to watch it, um, let me invite some friends here like I normally do. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day, and hopefully, you've got some fall weather where you are, but I just kind of Came back to hot. We're already talking about the weather. That's boring, isn't it? I'm just clicking on people over here. I'll check you guys out in just a minute to see if y'all want to chitty chat. <laughs> so, anywho, I'm trying to remember to invite people that I have not invited before. Um, who is it that I wanted to invite? Oh shoot, there was somebody I had in my mind that I wanted to invite and I've already forgot. Let me think. Well, maybe I'll do this. Um, I guess I can maybe invite friends later if I think of them. <laughs> okay, hey Tracy, Lori Mandel, you're here already. Awesome. Hey Sarah Lynn and Emily, yay! And Gina. Great. A few of y'all are trickling in. Um, well, shoot. No, no, there's no little invite friend. So if I think of somebody, I might like. I know there's people I want to invite and I always forget, but oh well. So my husband just got home from a business trip, and then I said I was like fixing my hair and stuff. And he goes, So what's going on? I was like, oh, It's Tuesday. He's like, Oh, Tuesdays with Tammy. I thought I fixed my hair, but Lord have mercy. Emily, I got a bunch of phones sitting in a ribbon chicks bag for you. I hope you can you're gonna pick them up tomorrow. I hope I got all the parts to it, but whatever you don't want, just ixnay with it. But you can have them. Um, I got lots of stuff. Lori Mandel, my producer, printed out. She gave me a bunch of questions. We probably won't get through everything, but in addition. We are super fans. Yay! I love super fans. Um, we might not get to everything. Hey, Leslie. Oh, yeah. We'll talk about my nails. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, we might not get to everything is what I'm saying, but I'll do my very dead level best. Okay? Oh, yeah. I just thought of somebody, my friend Lisa, that I just met. <laughs> We're becoming like good buds, I think. She's a sweet girl. Um, she is from Clarksville. I remember last week I said... I heard that nothing good comes from Clarksville, and then I hope she didn't hear it and get insulted, but I didn't, I mean, I don't know anything about it. I was just repeating somebody, something somebody said, but she's from Clarksville, and she's a good girl, so something good did come out of Clarksville, <laughs> and I went to Clarksville this weekend, actually. Um, my daughter had that competition. Hey, Lisa Lewis Smith, or Lewis Lisa Smith, husband or wife, I don't know which one that is. Um, so we had a lot of downtime, so I was able to do some shopping, which is, y'all know I'm on my refresh. I think I'm about done with my refresh, um, but it was a long day, and I got like 12,000 steps, and then we didn't make it into the finals, but oh well, I got to shop with Hip Hop, who, who, who Hop, Murray Tiger Bam, Who Hop, I don't know what that means. Um, but I got um, a nice little a little cabinet to replace this. I had this cabinet in my powder room in Columbia, South Carolina. That's how long ago it's been. I haven't lived there since 2000 and, um, what, nine? Something like that. 2008, 2009. And I lived there for about eight years. And I bought this, one of those just lamp, you know, cabinets. Actually, it's a very good cabinet. There's nothing wrong with it. LOL. <laughs> Autocrat, yeah. <laughs> Was it supposed to say, woohoo, Murray Tiger Band? Yeah, um, they still won some stuff, but they didn't get into the finals. But anyway, um, so now i got to figure out what to do with that cabinet because I bought another cabinet to replace that cabinet. And I bought a new comforter for my bed. Or not, well, it's really a quilt. I, I folded at the bottom of my bed, and I think it looks pretty because I bought some new sheets. And let me tell you all about that. I'll just get out my handy dandy notebook. Um, what do I have first? Oh, well, I'll, I'll get to the sheet part because I, I want to keep it in order so I don't get all mixed up. <laughs> all right, so um, some time ago, hey, Audrey, teenager, 
she likes Tuesdays with Tammy, so I'm not so uncool among the, amongst all the teenage crowd. And Audrey, you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, and you pom promised me faithfully at the football game the other day you're going to, and I've been looking. Mm -hmm. And a matter of fact, I have to give I have to give a tongue lashing to all y'all because none of y'all, except for my sister-in-law, but that was time before, have subscribed to my YouTube channel, and you people talked me into doing that. So get on the stick, man. Anyway, I'm glad you're here, Audrey. Um, but anyway, so some time ago we bought a new printer, like, uh, what's it called? A laser printer, I guess, or whatever. So we had this old printer. Well, it wasn't really old. It was, it's a very good printer. And it was just sitting there and I, thought, I was telling Peter, I was like, we got to get rid of that printer. So this girl, uh, this friend of Simon, Simon posted on Facebook and, um, this girl wanted it. So she came by to pick it up and she was with her boyfriend and it was in this box, right? And it was just sitting there and I was like, well, I'm not sure if it's heavy, heavy or whatever, but we'll, we'll check it and see. I said, but I think the box is a little janky because you know, it was an old box and it hadn't been taped up or anything. Yeah, I know Sarah. <laughs> Sarah's saying you're dang good to have an audience watching you talk about a new quilt. I know. Isn't it crazy? Who would have thunk it in a million years? I don't know. Either I'm very interesting or people have nothing better to do with their time and they're just simple people. I don't know, but I'll take, I'll take that. I'm interesting. How about that? <laughs> I can make even quilts interesting. All right. Anyway, so they come to get the, the thing and I was like, well, I'm picking it up and I was like, oh, it's not too heavy. And then the girl is trying to pick it up. And then immediately I went into my, you know, whatever mode I go into. And I was like, no, 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 no. You are not taking this daggum printer out. I was like, he is the man. Y'all know my man stuff that I like, right? And I was like, he is the man and he needs to be carrying that printer. And he was just kind of standing there all awkward. He wasn't even trying to, you know, whatever she, I mean, he was just kind of like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I was like, carry the daggone printer. I was like, I know you girls nowadays, y'all think men aren't supposed to do this kind of stuff for you, but he should. And she's like, well, that's why I brought him with me. I was like, well, good for you. So anyway, I think I told that to either Simon or Caroline. They're like, or whoever I told, maybe Peter. He was like, did you really say that? I was like, yeah. I was like, maybe I wasn't as passionate when I was retelling it because I did take some creative license, but I was pretty passionate when I told about it, told him about it. So yeah, I was in hashtag Tammy mode. Hey, Renee, glad you're here. So anyway, and you know, remember last week whenever I was talking about, um, I went into the school and I said, I need a man. Well, I did it again this week. Who did I say? It. I said it again that I needed a man and I did. And now I can't remember what it was. Hopefully it'll come to me. So I'll keep that in the back of my mind. Maybe I'll write it down. Oh shoot. I'm at Simon's desk with, Oh wait, he does have a pencil. Believe it or not. He's got a pencil up in here. Oh, stupid mechanical. I hate those things. Okay. Um, I need a man. Where did I say that? It was good too. I'll figure it out. All right. So, Oh, so I want to talk about this. Okay, so um, Laura Mandel had sent me on her questions, like something about asking about new music. And I was like, are you talking about, you want me to ask people what new music they're listening to? Because I don't listen to new music. Well, I do take exception because I do listen to some, not all, but some new country. But I pretty much kick it old school, 70s, 80s kind of stuff. But I got to show y'all a picture and y'all probably know who I'm talking about when y'all see it. But can y'all see these people? Is that a good rendition? That's England Dan and John Ford Coley. Now I want y'all to take a good look at these gentlemen. Okay. You know, sometime in the seventies, you can tell by the leisure suits, right? Wait, can y'all see them? Now I want you to tell me, Somebody said that they look like they would be the kind of guys that would be in a van, not down by the river, but like a white van um, with the windows blocked out and offering little girls candy and stuff. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, I think I agree. Now, do you think those guys in today's economy, oh my gosh, Savannah's here, my daughter, uh, makes me nervous. Um, do y'all think those guys in today's economy uh, would make it in the music business? because? Everything is all about the image. But let me tell you, they have the most melodic tunes and great, um, the ones I know, the songs I know, uh, you know, great melody, great words, but yet 
they're they just got hit with the ugly stick you know what i'm saying hey Kay, glad to see you and i just don't think they would make it to now nowadays and it's such shame that so much emphasis is placed on how somebody looks that's in the music business or the entertainment business or whatever and they might not have the greatest talent they can't write songs they can't play an instrument they can barely sing because it's auto, I was about to say auto trade, auto, auto tune. And when I go get my hair did, they play like the top 40 channels. And I swear, I just want to put a fork in my neck. Rayanne, if you're listening, um, no offense to you, but it ain't your fault because music sucks. She might like it. I don't know. But it's like every sixth song, they play the same song. And I'm sure they did that on BBQ back in the day and probably still do. Uh, for those of you who remember WBBQ. Uh, but Oh, God, it's torture. Dear Lord, Luke Bryan is coming to Augusta Friday, and the schools are having a half day. To, ew, I do not like Luke Bryan. Uh-uh. He is whiny, and, oh, I cannot. My sister sent me a um a video or music, something other, whatever, of him. I think it's Luke Bryan. Anyway, she was like, I promise you, if you listen to this, you will like him. And I kept putting it off, and actually, I kind of forgot about it because it was on a text. And then I listened, I list, I got through maybe three seconds, and I was just like, no, I, mm -mm. I cannot stand his voice. I'm more into like Sugarland and Little Big Town. I like some uh, Miranda, Miranda Lambert. Um, sometimes Carrie Underwood, but she sometimes gets on my nerves with her voice. I don't, I know that's probably sacrilegious to say and all that, but you know, everybody's got an opinion like other things and they both stink. You know what I'm saying? So, um, whatever. I know she's America's sweetheart and all that, but I don't always like all her songs. And who else do I like? Some of the, you know, some of the older school, you know, I like old school country too, but, um, Lori Mandel, he stopped loving her today. <laughs> that, that's our song from back in the day, believe it or not. And Connie Francis. Um, anyway, so, enough on that I guess all right so I told y'all about getting the new quilt whatever well I was on Facebook the other day and a Walmart ad comes up right and they were advertising I think I told y'all about this the pioneer woman sheets well I got them in the mail and they're really cute they drive me a little bit nuts though because I have to keep fidgeting because I fold them down and they got like this little ruffle it's really cute but my other stuff my other quilt didn't go with it as well, so that's why I got the new one. Anyway, so Peter comes home, and I had made the bed, and I turned back. I have like a comforter kind of – no, it's not a comforter. I told you before, I don't know what it's called, like a spread or whatever, but it's not a spread exactly, but it's something between that. And so I turned that back, and then I turned the sheets back, so you see the polka dots and the the ruffles or whatever. So Peter comes home, and he's like, oh, did you get new sheets? And I was like, yes, and he goes – Oh, those are really nice. They're very cute. It's kind of like, reminds me of Little Red Riding Hood or um, what else was, was the thing you said? Or like the gingerbread house. <laughs> I was like, well, that wasn't quite the look I was going for. Um, so, you know, yeah, he almost ruined it for me calling it. He's like, but then he go, then he kind of changes it around because, you know, he didn't, he wasn't meaning to insult me or anything. He goes, well, you know, it reminds me really of European style, the way you got it made and the, this style is like European. <laughs> I was like, good save, Peter. It was just kind of funny. All right. So, oh yeah. So the other day I was in Walmart, of course, and I was looking at shampoos or conditioners or whatever. And I mean, it's just overwhelming sometimes just to find a product, right? And I saw this one shampoo or conditioner that was Saki shampoo. Now, I, I never really realized that I needed to put Saki in my hair. Has anybody else? Are they trying to be all fancy? Because y'all remember that um, back in the day, the body on tap uh, shampoo that had the beer in it? <laughs> Oh, yeah. And you remember the one, uh, what was that one? It was a shampoo. And it was like, they were like, will you tell two friends and then they'll two, two, tell two friends and then they'll tell two friends. Was that body on tap as well? I don't remember. But anyway, there were some good commercials back in the day. Now the commercials are just terrible. Everything's terrible. These <laughs> the music, commercials, TV shows. Oh, there's actually some pretty good TV shows coming on. Um, 
the Goldbergs is back on, which I like that show, and Life in Pieces. That's funny. And if y'all know my obsession with Breaking Bad, and I think it's well documented. I did not know it, but the girl that plays in Life in Pieces is also in Breaking Bad. So her name was Marie on Breaking Bad, but I can't remember what her name is in um, Life in Pieces. That's a funny show. Um, oh, did anybody watch the This Is Us premiere? I DVR'd it because it comes on Tuesdays. And um, if you watched it, it's been a week. So we can dialogue about it because I think it's okay without people having an aneurysm that you talk about a show that's a week old. Hey, Melissa. Watch Manifest. Oh, I got to write that down. Is that is that on um, regular TV or is that on Netflix or something? Um, okay. Lori told me to watch The Center, which I looked at it and got 94 on Rotten Tomatoes. But I did today, or yesterday rather, I went on Amazon to see if the amazing or ma fabulous Mrs. Maisel um, or whatever. It's either the amazing Mrs. Maisel or the fabulous Mrs. Maisel or something like that. It's on Amazon. It's hilarious. Um, but it's still not on. So I just started kind of scanning through and there was a show and I'm still on the, it's, it's good. It's called forever. It's very quirky, which I like quirky stuff. But again, the obligatory ubiquitous cursing that absolutely adds nothing to the plot why can't they just make a show and not do all that? It's not necessary. Seriously. I mean, I'm no prude, but, you know, I know about Last Man Standing. But, um, you know, it just doesn't add to the show. But anyway, it's a it's very quirky, very weird in a good way. Kind of, I don't know how, I can't describe it. But um, I've, I've watched about four shows <laughs> already. Peter was out of town, and I did, it was not anything he would like. So I started watching it on my own, and I kind of got hooked in because it's it's just weird i can't tell you you have to look at it bailey metz oh lord that's a blast from the past that's my friend from columbia her son go cox right bailey <laughs> uh well they're sucking right now but still gotta be a fan um why did i say when did i say i need a man i can't remember Dadgummit, that's really irritating. Oh, I've got something fabulous to show y'all. I almost contemplate, well, I did contemplate opening this on Tuesdays with Tammy so y'all would get my reaction. It would be pure and honest and, and whatever. But have y'all ever heard of Fab Fit Fun? Well, if you hadn't, I'm here to tell you about it. Um, it's a seasonal like subscription box thing that you can get. You know, you've heard, you know the subscription box things like Stitch Fix and all that st where they curate stuff and they send it to your house. Well, this is a seasonal one. You get one in winter, spring, summer, and fall. All you got to do is call and I'll be there. Hope you're doing well, Mrs. Placer. I am, Bailey. You're so such a courteous young man. And go Cox. That's right. Regular TV, second episode. Okay. All right. I'll, oh, yeah. I think I did see a um, promo for that. Okay. But anyway, so I got my FabFitFun box today and I'm going to share it with y'all because it is fab and it is fun. <laughs> and I think I'm not for sure, but I think I might, if, if I, if I, if you were, if I refer you or something like that, we get some sort of discount. I'll have to double check on that. But if you want to order one, let me know. Um, and we can get a discount of some sort. Okay. But this is it. First of all, is this box adorable? I mean, come on now. All right. So what it is, is they give you, you can get, there's all kinds of products in there and it's guaranteed a value of at least $200. And I got the first box I got, I had a $10 off coupon, whatever. So I got it for like $39 plus tax, but then hereafter it'll be $49, but you only get it four times a year. So it's not like every month you're paying $49, but it's guaranteed $200 value. And you get to pick some of the things you want in there or you let them pick. It depends on how you want to do it. Lance Allison, Lord have mercy. And, um, so, but, um, then there's some surprise things in there. It could be anything from, they do do clothes, but I didn't like do my size because as y'all know, Oh, I forgot where Weight Watchers down. Uh, let me talk about Weight Watchers while I'm thinking about it. Uh, down 22 pounds as of last Wednesday. So hopefully tomorrow when I win, there'll be more. So anywho, it's all going good on that. But, um, I didn't want them to send me any clothes because, um, you know, of the weight loss thing and all that. But, I was very excited about this because look, I got a French press in there 
and it says but first coffee on it and the reason why I was super excited about this is because I have two French presses I don't know if anybody ever drinks out of a French press but it's like probably the best way to drink coffee in my opinion but I usually do the curry because that requires a little bit more effort because you got to boil the water and blah 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 but you know curry it's instant but I do love me some French press when I got it but I have two because if everybody might if like if me and Peter drink French press in the morning we need two cup two pots well dummy me I broke one um, during the week and I had already um, filled out my fab fit fun thing and one of the options was this cute little teapot or the French press and I was like well I already got two French presses so I'll just pick the teapot or no I said y'all pick for me and I said I'll just take whichever one well then after I broke that and I was like dang it I was sweating they were gonna send me that teapot but I didn't the Lord watched he was merciful <laughs> see type back to God somehow or another and um sent me the French press it's not as good as my one I have but it's it's a cute one and I like it and you get some little magazine in there with Duma Flachi. she's a uh, Christina Applegate because I think this is about breast cancer awareness and I think she had breast cancer but um, you know because October is breast cancer awareness month but it's got all kinds of like makeup stuff in there and yeah they'll send you makeup they'll send you clothes whatever but I'm gonna show you what I got in my box and these cute towels are these like adorbs so two little cute towels oh and check this out I guess this is some de designer, but y'all know I'm not big on designer stuff. I don't know all the brands, but this is Vince Camuto, I think. A vegan leather tote, and you had a choice of black or like a burgundy. I chose the black. So there's that. And then I got Grown Alchemist Hydra Restore Cream Cleanser Olive Leaf. Plant plantigio extract. I have no idea. Some sort of uh, no paraffins, blah blah blah, all that kind of good stuff. Face wash, an umbrella. <laughs> How random! And you got to pick. I picked this one. I forgot what the other one was, but I like this design better. You didn't get to pick everything because I didn't know about the makeup stuff that they were sending. Um, a glam glow bubble sheet. So there's two of them. So it's like an oxygenating deep cleanse mask. And by the way, you get to fill out a profile, like stuff you're interested in, like what kind of skin type you have, all that kind of junk. Vegan leather. It means it's faux leather. <laughs> it's not made from cows. I don't know what it's made from, but something. And then you get some um, gel douche, which in American, um, and I don't know if I said that right, is shower gel. Blue and Capri, it's called. The Italian collection limited edition so it's special hold on what else oh I got a Luna bar a Luna Rica bar whoops uh, it says cashew butter filled fruit and nut bar what did I do did I do something wrong whoops I don't know what I'm doing here all of a sudden my stuff is highlight oh, there we go okay um what else there's something else. Oh, some sort of lipstick. Oh, it's Metalist Liquid Foil Lipstick Duo. I was going to try it on tonight, but I already had my lipstick on. Um, but it's some sort of two-in-one dumaflachi. And you got, like, lipstick over here and then some metallic stuff you can put on top. So that's pretty cool when you're feeling frisky, I reckon. Um, oh, and a... Beauty blender, which I'm giving to Caroline because she needs one, and I use a brush usually a lot of times. And then there's some, ooh, HelloFresh, $50 off. Of course, they have those everywhere. But anyway, if you're interested, which I was like a kid in a candy store when I got it. I, I was very excited. Um, let me know, and I think I, somehow or another we can both get a discount. And I'm all about the discounts, aren't you? So there you go on that. Okay. Um, that's all I got written down in my handy nanny notebook. So we're going to turn to our, my producer's questions. <laughs> Lance, you still here? Anybody, are y'all still there? Is anybody there? I know Leslie just commented, but y'all send me some love, man. Okay. So, oh, just as a, um, what do you call it? And nobody's commented about This Is Us. Have y'all watched it? I want to talk about it a little bit if you have. Um, 
Lori uh, sent me this. It's called ASMR, and she said her kids showed her this on um, YouTube, and it's strange. It was coined in um, – <laughs> Kay, Kay just sent me some love. Um, it was coined in 2010, and it stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. And it's an, an experience characterized by a static-like or tingling sensation on the neck, I mean on the skin, and typically begins on the scalp and moves down the back of the neck and upper spine. Whoops. Sorry. I don't know what I did there. Okay, good. You're still here, Tracy. Um, it has been compared with auditory tactile sin. I should have Googled this word, how to say it. Sin I can't say it. It may overlap with freezing. Whatever. Who knows what that means. But, um, oh, I thought that had to do with um, videos of eating your, of eating and posted so people can what I, I'm, conf I'm confused word the videos are bizarre oh so you mean the videos that people watch are bizarre I thought they had I thought you tied it in with the people watching people eat and they got that sensation but I guess I'm wrong oh I forgot that hey Keith I forgot to um, tell y'all about my lipstick of the night this is the oldie but goodie I forgot I had it it is um, who makes this Revlon Color Stay, and it's sheer, but it's kind of a red, but it's called Sheer Ruby. Uh, they probably don't even make it anymore. And then my nails, they look black, but it's called Disturbia, but it's purple looking in the bottle, and then when you paint it on, it's kind of black, but it's got a purple undertone, and then certain lights, it looks like a deep purple, but it's kind of cool. Cause you know I like to roll up that with the dark colors. Okay, so um, yeah, she's talking about hey Michelle, my sister. I mean my my other, not my sister. My sister is Michelle, but my friend Michelle. Um, so Lori's talking about people watch videos of yourself eating and post it so people can view them when they eat and not feel alone. That is a sad, sad state of affairs when people um are so lonely that they got to watch a video on YouTube. Oh, that makes my heart kind of break a little. Dang it, I said. Oh, so she's talking about um, how kids break up. And I don't know how many of y'all have teenagers or what have you, but I um, heard something, some statistic, and it was like super high. I don't, don't make me tell y'all numbers because math and all that but it was very high <laughs> I just remember that um, that kids would rather text than talk in person isn't that sad your kids are entertaining to watch eat Lori yeah but you're sitting there watching them you're not watching them on YouTube are you I mean that's funny I mean that's different I'm just saying I'm brokenhearted for people who are so lonely that they have to watch people on YouTube 1,200 divorces because of Fortnite. Good grief. What is wrong with people? Anyway, so the way kids break up, they, they do it via text, if y'all don't know this, okay? But the worst part, she says, um, of the breakup is when they remove all the pictures of them she wrote, or of the break -uppy. Is that a Is that a thing, a break <laughs> Um, Yeah, I mean, it's like, how cowardly that people like break up on text or what do they expect when they're asking out on text? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I text, I'm not, I won't, you know, whatever. My husband was texting me yesterday. Oh, good to see you, Michelle too. Um, well, I don't see you actually, do I? <laughs> God, what's wrong with me? Um, but Peter was texting me yesterday about something I forgot now. And then I was just like, called. I was like, dude, that's just too much texting for me. I know they date on text. It's like, good grief. I don't. How are they going to have ever have children? Are they going to procreate on text? <laughs> good Lord. They don't know what they're missing these days. Yeah, and all the talking on social media. Oh, geez. And then, God, if somebody, like I've heard like where girls get all mad if some other girl likes her boyfriend's social media stuff and they break it. Oh, geez. And we thought we had drama, right? Lori Mandel. Shoot. 
they don't know. Yeah, and Lori said, uh, talking is predating, but not sure how you know if you're talking exclusively. I mean, seriously, if you're talking, I, it's weird. All right, so, um, oh yeah, Lori, you did put about Manifest too. I've, I watched uh, American Housewife last night, and I'm, I'm still on the cusp about that show. I can't make up my mind if it gets on my nerves or if it's actually kind of funny sometimes, but I don't know. And I've seen the promos for a million little things, but um, I've never watched Last Man Standing. I know a lot of people like that. And I've seen the promos for Single Parents. And the good doctor, Ray Fout says he doesn't really like the good doctor because he doesn't like the way they portray the the doctor with autism or something. He says something along that line if he's here. Where, is Ray here? I don't think I invited him. Let me see if I can invite him. Maybe I already. Oh, I already did. He ain't here at all. Oh, well, maybe he's got something else better to do. Um. Okay, so. All right, so talking about binge watching, we already talked about that. I'm going to check out the centers because it's got 94 Rotten Tomatoes. Um, the It Crowd, I haven't heard that. Oh, Alias Grace, have you watched that? Oh, my gosh. It is so good. I watched it, like, some of the episodes twice because it's so, like, there's just so much nuance. But Alias Grace, I don't remember if it's on Netflix or Amazon, but it is, it's up there. It's really good. Movies, I never go to the movies. I would much rather be upstairs in our movie room, whatever you want to call that room upstairs, man cave, whatever you want to call it, and be in my PJs and not have some punk sitting in front of me texting on their phone while I'm trying to watch a movie. And on top of that, I don't want to pay 8 $9 to go to the movies when I can sit in my comfy um, custom sofa upstairs. It's got recliners and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, I saw a promo, Leslie, for The Last Man Standing, something that was coming on after that. I don't remember what it was, but it looked funny. Okay, so Lori says, what are people offended by? I think that the um, better question would be, what are people not offended by? <laughs> Michael Kors bought Versace. Oh, he did? Michael Kors? Hmm. I don't have any Michael Kors and I dang sure don't have any Versace, so I don't know if that helps me out any or not. <laughs> I don't know. If they'll probably start selling it in, on QVC and then it'll lose its value. Um, so what are people offended by? Um, I'd say pretty much everything. Sometimes whenever I go off of here, because y'all know this is all fun and jokes and I am not serious at all. And then I say stuff and I'm like, Oh my gosh, did people like get offended by what I said because I didn't mean it to be offensive? But then I remembered my audience, and I don't think you're all the easily offended type. And if you are, um, not that I say anything that's, you know, you will stay out of that question. If you are friends of mine, you know. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's offended by everything. But if you if stuff I say you get offended by, then what my intent, but I'm not gonna apologize for who I am or what I what I, you know, think. Because that's just how I roll. And I'm still trying to think about why I said I need a man. And that's going to drive me buggy until I figure it out. And I'll probably think about it at 3 o'clock in the morning. But I'll have it I'll have it next week on Tuesdays with Amy, I reckon. Um, oh, yeah. She talked about things we did back in the day that you don't see now. And she used a Chinese red light. And what is that where we did the thing where we put our hands on top of the... Like if we went underneath a red light, or what was that? What was the thing where we put our hand on top of the roof of the car? Offended that you didn't tell us how all the sheets were just were just sleep on. Oh, how how they were to sleep on? Is that what you're asking me, Leslie? Um, I mean they're soft. I have more soft sheet, softer sheets, but they're not bad, and they're really cute. Oh, yeah, yeah, so when you go under, is that Chinese red light, Lori? I didn't know the name of it. I mean, if I did, I forgot. Okay. Um, oh, and speaking of that, Leslie, um, years ago, I quit putting a top sheet on my um, on my bed because my husband and I just fought over it every night because he liked his untucked, and I liked mine tucked. And so every night it was a battle because he would like lift his leg way up high and like knock the, I mean, pull both the sides of the sheets out. 
So I just said, I can't fight this battle. I mean, you know, there's things that are worth fighting for, but a top sheet uh, just was not it. And I have the super comfortable um, uh, down comforter that is in a, in a duvet. And it keeps you warm in the winter, but it keeps you cool in the summer. It's like an all-weather weight. It's the perfect weight because I cannot stand sleeping hot. There is no freaking way. I sleep with the fan on in my room year-round. I cannot stand being hot when I sleep. So I took that sheet off. And so anytime I buy sheets, I just use the, you know, the bottom sheet or the, whatever you call it. Is that what you call it? The bottom sheet. And, but we've been sleeping with the top sheet and we've been kind of, I don't know, maybe Peter's evolved a little bit and it hadn't been that bad, but I switched my sheets out. So, but anyway, they're nice. I, I mean, for the price, especially they're not bad. Okay. Um, she said, if you could go, oh, wait a minute. I forgot. What do we? Okay, those of you who are from Aiken will appreciate this. Hey, Amber. What's going on, girl? Um, yeah, fitted sheet. There you go. <laughs> I knew it was something. And Lori Mandel, I think I told y'all this story before. Lori Mandel's mom taught me how to fold a fitted sheet. And my kids, every time that they're in the room with me when I'm folding a fitted sheet, I'm like, you know, before I even get it out of my mouth, they go, we know, Mom, Lori Mandel's mom taught you to fold a fitted sheet. Oh, they don't appreciate my stories. Um, but going to Jim Lakes at night, do y'all remember going to Jim Lakes and hanging out there? Oh, my gosh. It was like we were committing some sort of something. Um, what is it? I'm doing Tuesdays with Tammy, Amber. What you doing? I'm talking about all the important things in life that everybody should know about. Um, but going to gym lakes and kind of sneaking in there and getting in the water, but we'll just leave it at that. Um, oh, the parking lot. Yes, those of y'all from Aiken, probably not our cheerleader types or our football jock types didn't circle the parking lot like we did, but the Roses parking lot just going round and round and round. Well, I think here in Murray, because the thing she tagged me in this thing today it says, you know, if you're from a small town, if you ride round and round on the same road. Well, we have here in Murray a uh, Dairy Queen that only serves ice cream and hot dogs. It doesn't serve like, it's not like a Brazier Dairy Queen where you go inside. It's like a drive through not a drive through but you walk up to it and there's tables. Hey, Laura, glad you made it. Um, you know, you just walk up to it and it's only open from... March to October. And I think the last day it closes is um, Halloween. But uh, what was the bearded guy that sold drugs? Always high. Where? At the parking lot? I don't know. I wouldn't know anything about that. But um, what was I saying? Oh, they circled around the Dairy Queen here. So it's it's rampant. I don't know who you're talking about, Lori Mendel. Beats me. Um one bus stop for a neighborhood kids. Yes. I think she said, didn't you say something to me about how, or no, you said on your Facebook, how like the bus drivers now um, drive at, and they stop at every single driveway and the parents come out and talk to the bus driver and whatnot. Well, let me tell you when I was in high school, before I started driving to school, um, I lived so close to the school that I don't even think they would pick you up from a bus. <laughs> but um, Lori Mandel rode a bus and I wanted to uh, ride the bus with her because who wouldn't want to ride a bus after school, right? What is wrong with me? But I just rode after school and they would stop on the highway. Of course, back then we didn't have as much traffic on whiskey road and I would get off on, on the highway and cross over and go into my neighborhood. Now, do you think they would do that now? Nope. Yeah. We got our driver to drop you off. Yes, we got the bus driver. I wasn't even supposed to ride that bus because I wasn't zoned. And, you know, was that when David Beatty drove the bus? 504-1089? No, 504-1085, I think, was our bus number. Um, but, yeah. Um, no note. Oh, yeah, no note. We just, he, you know, he just dropped me off, and I'd cross the, cross the highway. But, good Lord, they would not do that now. That young guy, I don't know 
Well, I did ride David Beatty's bus at one point. That's all I remember. He was like my crush in high school. Oh, God, what was I thinking then too? Ooh. Flashbacks, not very good. All right, so she said, um, if you could go back in time and change one thing, what would it be? Hmm. I used to think that I would change some things, but as I've gotten older and wiser, <laughs> yes, I remember the bus number because we used to shout it out, 504 1085, every time we would pull up into the parking lot. Speaking of which, my brother always tells me, he's like, oh my God, because I haven't lived in Aiken in, since 1996, okay? And every time I go back to Aiken Town, um, I see all these people, because I never forget faces. And I remember when my mom was having surgery one time, I went to the hospital and there was a nurse there that I recognized and um, I won't say her name just in case she ever sees me on social media or on YouTube. Plug for my YouTube channel, subscribe. Yes, I do, Laura Mandel. My brother always says, how do you remember all these people? How do you see? I'm like, I don't know. They just find me. But um, anyway, so I saw this girl and I was like, so she didn't really know who I was, but I always knew who she was. It was just one of those deals. And um, so I said, are you such and such? And she goes, um, hey, Warren. And she goes, yes. And I said, um, yeah, I think we went to school. I think it might have been whenever we had the split. I mean, like when, you know, when we went that one year to Schofield, or how was it that we did it? before we went to Aiken High and some of the Aiken High people went to school with us and I think she was an Aiken High person, but I can't remember. But she dated this one guy and I remember one day, I swear I can see it in my mind's eye, clear as a bell. He was on the bus going, you know, home, whatever. He'd already loaded his bus and then she walks up to him and he's like hanging out the window and to at Schofield. Okay, yeah, that's it. we were at Schofield. And either she had gum in her mouth, or he, he had gum in his mouth. I don't know which one. But she, like, passed the gum. Let's just say it was her. She passed the gum to his mouth, and, like, she was kissing him. And I saw it. And then I, I didn't say this part to her when I saw her at the hospital. But I said, did you used to date such and such? And she acted like she didn't know who in Sam's Hill I was talking about. And I was like, you did. Y'all were like, they were like all lovey-dovey all the time, walking in the halls, like hanging all over each other. Speaking of which, do y'all remember that kid, the, that couple, um, Michelle, um, what was her name? Michelle something, not Michelle Birch. <laughs> Michelle, I ain't talking about you. Michelle Birch and that one dude, Laura, you probably remember him. Her mom was a teacher at the school. Her last name was Johnson. The mom was, I think, but I feel like her last name was something different, but maybe it wasn't. But she had that boyfriend, and they were always hanging all over each other at lunch and stuff. It was so disgusting, kissing each other and hanging all over each other. I was like, oh, God, get a room for the love of all that is holy. But anyway, getting back to my story. So I know that girl was embarrassed that she dated that guy, and um, you got written up for holding hands. I will never forget Lori Mandel when Stephen – well, well, I won't say his name um, – this boy that you dated um, – Never mind. I'm not going to tell that. It might embarrass you. I'm not going to tell it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> but uh, who, who are you holding hands with and you got written up? They need to do some writing up nowadays. Dang. The way people do. But anyway, that girl was not admitting that she dated that dude. And I know good and well she did. So then I told my brother, Jeff, I was, the story about the chewing gum. He's like, oh my gosh, Tammy, how do you remember this stuff? And I was like, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know how I remember, but yet I can't remember like what I did yesterday. Oh, it was with Steven that you got written, hand, written up with. Can I tell the story, Lori, about you kissing him one time? And I think he had smoked a cigarette. Do you remember that at all? If you say no, I won't tell it, but oof. anyway, Oh, getting back. Would I change anything? I used to think that I would, but, um, I don't know that I would because, I think my experiences in life, um, well, I would change how stupid I was about some decisions I made in high school. Like I didn't, um, I had not come into myself. I was a late bloomer, if you will. And I, 
I wish I would have had the confidence that I have now, but who doesn't, you know, but I probably wouldn't have made some choices that I made, but it didn't really affect my life like dramatically, but possibly, but I don't know that I would change anything because I think that the experiences I've had and um, I do know that I wish I would have always been a Christian and um, not vary from that. But other than that, I think my experiences have made me who I am and uh, made me the wiser. Although I probably would think that I wouldn't have to necessarily make such stupid decisions and <laughs> learn from those. But now I'm wiser. I learn from other people's stupid decisions. <laughs> okay. So she says I can tell it. So, um, so she had this boyfriend, Lori Mandel, and he like kissed her and he like smoked or whatever. And he just like announces out in front of everybody. And I was just like, I don't know if you remember this word, but it's like, Kissing and smoking is like licking a dirty ashtray. And I wanted to jack his jaws all the way up. But we won't talk about him too much because he passed away. But anyway, um, he was young and stupid then, so I can say it about him now <laughs> or back then. But, you know, she was my best friend. And I wanted to, I didn't want, like him saying that means I thought it was mean and embarrassing in front of these people. She may not even remember it, but I certainly remember it. Okay, so um, what is my best feature? I think it has to be my sparkling personality. <laughs> oh, gosh. How can you like, you don't know, remember that, Lori? I remember it very well. Um, how can I like talk about my best feature? I have no idea. It seems very unhumble. If that's a word. Um, I don't know. What's your best feature? Y'all tell me what your best feature. And nobody has commented about This Is Us, so if you don't, you haven't watched it, I guess. Does anybody watch This Is Us? Let me know if you do, and I'll drop the subject. Um, if I had to eat one meal for the rest of my life, what would it be? Hmm. Oh, Lord, I don't know. Teeth. Lori, what's teeth? Oh, your teeth are your best feature? You remember another guy saying that, and you quit smoking? Yeah. Who said that, Leslie, to you? Hey, Ruth Ann. Somebody said that to you, Leslie. How rude. Um, I don't know if I could pick one meal because I get tired of stuff so easily. Um, oh, my teeth. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, what meal? Hmm. What What meal would y'all eat if it was if you could only eat that for the rest of your life? I always I just used this quote the other day. Have you ever seen um all of these boys? I swear, boys, boys, boys. That's why you need a man. I need a man, <laughs> not a boy. And thank God I got a man. Um, so what, what was I just saying? Dang it. Oh, I, I was gonna say I used to say it with steak that I could just eat all the time, but, and I used to think it was pasta, but when I broke my foot, and I appreciate everybody bringing me food, but I got so much pasta, I swear, um, Dennis Carton said it, oh, God, ugh, whatever, dude, the funny thing, he, you see him now? Hmm, interesting, I won't say a word about that, um, steak yeah i don't think i could eat just one food for the rest of my life oh pasta that's what i was saying everybody brought me pasta and it was delicious but oh my gosh if you have pasta like almost every single day yeah you get real tired of it i could not eat and i love pasta i mean that's just my jam but uh i could not eat it for like a very long time after that oh once in a blue moon do not tell him i said hello whatever you do Okay, um, so y'all tell me what y'all would eat, if you can. Um, all right, Desert Island, three books, three movies, and three foods. Um, of course, y'all know I'd have to take the Bible. Um, I've actually read this. Oh, I have this one book. I've read it two or three times, and I don't know why I find it. It's actually a movie on Netflix right now, and it's a good movie. But um, it's called the – it's got a really long title, and I've read it like three times, and it's called – 
the Guernsey sweet potato pie and literary society or something like that. But I, I love that book. And I also love um, Confessions of a Jane Austen Addict. I don't know why I love that book so much. You think you knew what, Lori? I mean, Amber, about the pasta, if that's what you're talking about. Um, those are some that come to mind readily. Um, I'd have to think what else. I'm sure there's other things I'd want to take with me, but I'm bad about remembering names of books. I need to read more. I've been reading, well, I am reading a book called Hope in the Dark, but it's not a, it's not fiction. And I've been reading forever called Midwife. It's by my toilet. And that's the only time I ever read it is when I'm by the toilet. Actually, this, well, I did start reading a book last night or two nights ago. Joy in the Morning, a book you told me about it. I read it every year. I told you about that. What's it about? I don't remember that book. Hey, Dwight. I'll have to Google that because if I read it and, and re recommended it, it must be good. I'll have to do that again. But I went to the store to Goodwill the other day and I just was perusing the book section and I saw this book. Um, it's a, have you ever heard of brother Lawrence? Uh, it's a, like a, it's not a biography cause he didn't write a biography. He lived in the 1600s and he was a um, monk and he wrote all these letters. Um, yes. Yeah, set one. Is that what you're saying, Lori? Join the morning set one. Who's the author? Because I don't remember that book. Hmm. So I'm reading. It's like Confessions of Brother Lawrence or something like that. So I'm reading that. And I was reading Better Homes and Gardens in the Bed. <laughs> so reading magazines counts as reading, right? Okay. Um, three movies. Okay. I'd probably have to take When Harry Met Sally. I'd probably have to take um, Kate and Leopold because I love uh, – that's mine and Peter's favorite movie, actually, I think, because I love Hugh Jackman. And then I'd probably take, hmm, I don't know, maybe Napoleon Dynamite <laughs> or oh, Blazing Saddles. I don't know. I don't know. That's hard. The movies, are, oh, Grease. I'd probably have to take Grease, but that's one and three. Hmm. I don't watch any makeover shows, Lori, like Bar Rescue. I can't stand those shows. Sorry. I do watch HGTV, um, you know, home makeovers, but I'm kind of bored with HGTV because they play the same freaking three shows every day. Mm. Yeah, Pretty Woman. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of what some, every time something comes on what I watch. I always watch When Harry Met Sally. Have you seen the circus movie with Hugh Jackman? No, I haven't. Have you seen it? I read reviews about it. But I haven't got, I told you I don't go to the movies. <laughs> it's got to come out on Netflix or something like that before I watch it. So I'm always behind the curve. And then I did watch La La Land because everybody raved about it. And I didn't really care for it. Um, I usually don't like stuff that everybody uh, raves about. But I told Peter, um, oh, Overboard, I love that movie, Leslie. The old one, not the new one. Got to watch the new one. I mean, the old one. Um, but... Um, I, when it comes out, I'll probably, I don't know. Peter won't watch that because isn't it a musical? I think it's a musical. He won't watch that with me. The only musical he'll watch with me is um, Grease. That's way more than three, uh, uh, three foods. I'd have to have some dill pickles probably. <laughs> um, maybe some chips and salsa and um, something cheesy or cheese, but there's like really no protein or I mean, there's some protein, I guess, in cheese, but not a ton. Um, yeah, what's the deal with face tattoos? Yeah, what is the deal with face tattoos? I don't understand it. I mean, that that is something you can't really, um, I mean, that's a decision. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not one I would want to make. I don't know what the deal is. Um, I have my own personal opinions about that, but I'm going to reserve judgment because I don't want to come across as, you know, judgmental. And then she says, um, it is October. I already mentioned this before is, uh, breast cancer month. And I know Lori won't mind me saying this because she, um, posted on Facebook, but she is a breast cancer survivor and, um, she is very much an advocate for, checking the tatas <laughs> so you guys check the tatas and uh get your mammograms and um all that 
Okay. Um, well, that's all I got, folks. I think. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. There's always something, and I guess nobody watches Dagum. This is us. So I'm all by myself on the This is us. I'm gonna um check out the center, and y'all check out forever. Like I said, it's kind of quirky, and I'm not a real big fan. I need to somebody needs to scratch my back. I got a bear. <laughs> I was going to say bare butt scratcher, but that's not what it is. A long time ago, um, we were somewhere, and I bought Simon this back scratcher. He was little, and he was just fascinated by back scratchers. And we named it, Mid we named it Midas. <laughs> so anytime I'll be like, hey, Simon, where's Midas? And he knew exactly what I was talking about. And I have it sitting on my coffee table. I have a tray on my coffee table, and I have Midas sitting on there. So when I'm just sitting at the couch or something, and my back itches, uh, I have my handy dandy Midas sitting by <laughs> to scratch my back because there's nothing worse than your back itching and no one to scratch it. You know what I'm saying? So, well, I'm sure there's worse things, but you know, first world problems and all that, right? <laughs> okay, so um, I guess that's it, folks. So, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to. And I'm fussing at you since uh, y'all talked me into it. Lori, there was something you said earlier. Somebody wanted me to say something. Oh, what was it? I forgot. Oh, Donna, I didn't see you were here. How's it going? Donna, I know you're sad about my brother's closing trios, but they were just, well, they had some issues. They wanted to buy it, and they wouldn't negotiate. with. It was complicated, um, but they were just sick of the restaurant business. Everybody always tells me, you should open up a restaurant. And the last thing that I would ever want to do is open up a restaurant. I just got no desire to do that whatsoever, especially after talking to my brothers about owning a restaurant. But anywho, um, all right, guys. Um, and Amber, you missed my FabFit fun reveal. You have to go back and um, look at that. And if you want one, let me know because uh, I think we can both get a discount. And I know you're a girl after my own heart wanting the discounts. And I tagged you in something today to win something, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> so maybe we'll win. Amber and I are always tagging each other on these things on Facebook, like um, to win something like from some store because that's how we roll. All right, guys. I enjoyed it as always. Now I guess I'll go uh, eat my chicken pot pie and uh, see my husband since I haven't seen him since, um, well, I saw him all ago for a few minutes, but uh Suffice it to say, he was excited to see me. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I got to go. <laughs> see you in an hour, dude. All right, people. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out.